this video we're going to see how to add an email to your web host and I'm going to show you a couple of things. First of all I'm going to show you how to add an email account, how to log into your email account, how to adjust forwarding and so on and how to create a very basic mailing list. So let's look at adding a new account. All you have to do is once you log into your control panel scroll all the way down to the mail section and click on add mail account. All right, and here we're going to create test A, B, C, D, or something like that. And make sure you're selecting the right domain name from the drop-down menu. You can get the system to create a password for you, which is going to be very strong. But I like to create my own password so I don't forget it. Okay, so I'm going to put my passwords in. The mail, um, you can choose what kind of mail disk usage you're going to let that user have. In my case, I'm just going to check unlimited. And I can click add. Now, if I scroll down after I've added, you can see all the accounts that I've added th to this domain. There is one account which is a catch all. So if somebody sends an email to your account, to an email address that doesn't exist under your domain, all the emails get forwarded to this account. Later on I'm going to show you how to change that and get it forwarded to an account that you actually check. So now if I click on this little icon, I can go and uh, check my emails. If you are going to check your emails outside of control panel, all you have to do is type in webmail.yourdomain.com and it will bring you to this page. Now you have two different choices for the email browser you're going to use. I like to use Roundcube because it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot easier to look at. Now as you can see there is one email here already and that's an email I sent as a test. To open the email just double click and you've got the email. And as you can see here it has very good spam protection because it flagged my email as spam because I didn't have a subject because I only had a one word subject line I and I didn't really have anything in my message. That's something it can do for you. You can also change your personal settings from here. You can change your folders, your identities. It's basically like any other email system once you get up to this point. So remember to get up to this point you just go webmail.yourdomain.com Okay. Now let's go back to our admin panel and I want to show you a couple other things. In the admin panel, if I go back to my home, if I go under email, there is one button here called email forward alias. If I click on that, I can set up forwarding rules. So I can add a forwarding rule. So for example, if I want every email sent to my new account to be forwarded to my Gmail, I can put that in here. and all I have to do is hit the add button. I'm not going to hit the add button here because this is not a real domain account. But you can see that it's very easy to do. The other thing that you might want to do is configure a catch-all. Remember how we said um, there was a, an account, Postmaster, that catches all the emails that are sent to accounts that don't exist? Now you can change it to be any of the accounts that are on your domain. So if you have a main admin account, you can send all the catch-alls to that account. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is select the account and hit update. Okay. Now I want to show you one um, tool you can use to troubleshoot any email problems that might arise. You probably won't have to do this for 99.9% .9 of the times, but if there is an email issue where you're sending emails to your account and it's not getting through, you can come here and click on the Edit MX Record button. Your MX Record is what tells um, the internet what to do with your email. So when you have this MX Record, it says, OK, now I need to send forward all of this to mail.sankofasystems.com. That's where I need to send it. Without the MX Record, the internet really doesn't know. And now that it has an MX Record, then the internet just inside of itself figures out what to do. Okay. So you want to come in here and make sure that you have the right MX record, which will just be mail.yourdomain.com. Okay. Now 
the other thing you can do with uh, this control panel on emails is set up an, a mailing list. This is very good if you just have a personal mailing list or a very small test mailing list for your business. If you want to have a big mailing list, I would recommend using a commercial software. It's basically more advantage for you because your emails don't get uh, flagged as spam most of the times and it gives you a lot more flexibility. The built-in email system really doesn't have that much flexibility and I don't use it personally, but if it's something you want to test out, you can definitely start out with this. Okay? So it's very easy to use and very uh, intuitive. All you have to do is come here and click on the buttons and figure out what you want to do. If you're stuck or if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know. And have fun!